On the Indian aircraft carrier in the Arabian Sea, General Bakshi, as the leader there, described the history of India's victory over Pakistan when the two countries went to war in 1971. General Nikhil Bakshi said that the success was not only due to the troops fighting on the front lines but also because of the intelligence services that were far from the battlefield. At that moment, General Bakshi talked about the story of a woman spy that was greatly meritorious upon India's victory. Back in 1971, in Pakistan's military headquarters, a briefing led by Brig. Parv Syed was held to discuss the Indian intelligence officials that they should watch out for. After that, Brig. Syed met his best friend Hidayat Khan, who was an Indian citizen as well as an informant for him. Hidayat conveyed his decision to resign from his position as Brig. Syed's informant followed his health which continued to decline due to a tumor in his lung. As a friend, Brig. Syed was very sad to hear what happened to his friend. Hidea had a wish, namely to marry his daughter, whose name is Simet, to Ipul, Brig, Syed's son. This was because Hidayat's health continues to decline so he couldn't be able to serve again. It is necessary to know that Hidayat was an Indian intelligence agent who can infiltrate the Pakistani military without being noticed. He was seen as if he was a double agent, even though Hidayat never sided with Pakistan and used Brig, Syed to gather vital information for the Indian Intelligence Bureau. Due to declining health, Hidayat submitted his resignation to the head of the Indian Intelligence Bureau, Colonel Khalid Mur. Hidayat also recommended his daughter, Simat, to replace himself as an intelligence officer who served in Pakistan. At first, Khalid Mur was reluctant because Semet was still 20 and was studying at Delhi University, but Hidayat was convinced that his daughter would be able to carry out the task. Hidayat then picked up his daughter. He asked Semet to replace him as an Indian intelligence agent serving in Pakistan. In addition, to help with his operations, Hidayat told her that he had planned to marry her to the son of Brig. Syed, whose name is Iqbal, a Pakistani military officer, just like his father. Hidayat also asked Simat to meet Khalid Mur, the chief of intelligence for India. Initially, Simat didn't want to accept her father's order. Her mother also thought the same and was reluctant, but after thinking about it all night, Simat finally decided to accept the mission, considering that her father's health condition continued to decline and her love for the country. She exemplified her father who was willing to sacrifice for the country, and she also wanted to sacrifice for the country. Then Semet met Khalid Mur and his assistant named Bakshi. After the interview, Semet immediately underwent a lot of training. Even though she experienced difficulties at first in the end she was able to master the training and even had expertise in memorizing numbers and code. Semet was also trained in shooting and self-defense. Besides that, she was also trained to kill the target or get rid of the parties that hindered the operation. After everything was ready, finally the marriage between Simet and Ipul was carried out. As a person betrothed, Simet was not too close to Ipul, however, her instinct as a spy took advantage of the opportunity to prepare various equipment and communicate with his superiors. One of the servants, Abdul, who was also Ipul's confidant, didn't trust Semet and was always suspicious of her movements, but Semet had been trained to stay focused and not to ruin her undercover mission. She always used her private restroom to send information with various codes to his superiors and other agents who also operated in Pakistan. One day, Semet accompanied Munira to the market. Munira was the wife of Ipul's older brother named Mebu. Semet took the opportunity to meet Indian agents who were operating in the market and then communicated with his superior man Kabir. Semet said that if the Indian side, in this case on behalf of Hidayat, should send information to the brig, Syed has to avoid the suspicion that she was a spy. Finally, the Indian Intelligence Bureau sent a code that was tucked into a gift sent to Brig. Syed. The code contained the coordinates of Pakistani rebels who were pro-India. Though the coordinates were correct, the rebels had left their headquarters. It turned out that this had indeed been designed by a high-ranking intelligence of India to help Semet's mission. On the other hand, Pakistan's success in finding the location of the rebels made Brig. Said received praise from his commander, General Baig, and for his services, the general promoted him to Major General. This certainly made him happy because, thanks to Hidayat's help, he was able to get promoted. He then introduced Simet to the people who had helped him in carrying out the operation, which turned out to be fellow Indian agents who were undercover and had known Simet before. Ipul began to pay attention to Simet. He also gave his mother's anklet to Simet. Not only Simet's in-laws had put their trust in her, but now her husband too. One day, Major General Syed was not feeling well. He then ordered Simet to lock his private meeting room. Semet used this opportunity to install a wiretapper device in the room. That way, Semet could listen to important meetings of the Pakistani officials in that room. It didn't stop there. Semet also duplicated the key to the room so that she could freely enter the room. Semet's career and ability in the world of intelligence got better over time. However, she had to lose her father due to an illness that he suffered from. 
She was devastated, but thankfully, Ippo was always there to cheer her up, and that made her fall in love with him. One day, Munira and some other Pakistani officers' wives were discussing the music teacher to teach their children for a military birthday event. Not wanting to waste the opportunity, Semet volunteered to become a music teacher for the children, thus, Semet would have access to enter the homes of Pakistani military officers. That way, Semet was able to easily enter the homes of Pakistani officers including entering General Beg's house. She was able to find information about Pakistan's plans to attack the Indian aircraft carrier. She also found sketches of ships that would be targeted, including ships that would be used to attack, but her action was almost caught. Luckily, she had good alibi to cover her action. After finding that information, Semet conveyed them to her superiors who then forwarded it to the Indian Navy. But the Indian Navy did not simply believe the information, but Khalid Mur convinced the Navy that the information was legit. The celebration arrived and the children performed stunningly. Of course, Semet reaped praise from various parties. During dinner at the Syed family house, Major General Syed and his son conveyed their plan to attack India by land and sea, and without them knowing, Semet was there, hearing the information. Soon, one of Major General Syed's aides brought a file to the meeting room. Seeing that, Semet didn't waste the chance to get that information. When Major General Syed and Ippol left, Semet immediately entered the room with the duplicate key that she kept. She immediately took and copied the contents of the document and immediately sent it to the Intelligence Bureau of India, but when she was sending the information, the aide returned to get the document, but he didn't find it. Abdul also went looking but couldn't find it. Semet quickly returned the document, but because there was not enough time, she put the document on the front desk. Major General Syed didn't suspect anything at all, but that's different from Abdul. He didn't seem to believe in Semet. Until one day, Abdul found Semet's signal transmitter in her personal washroom because she forgot to hide the device. Knowing that Semet was an Indian spy, Abdul immediately ran to tell Major General Sid. Semet, who was worried that her disguise would be exposed, tried to chase Abdul but was not caught up. She then found a car nearby and used it to hit Abdul and left him with severe injury. She then abandoned the car and went back to her house. Meanwhile, Abdul was rushed to the hospital. Semet felt very guilty for having to sacrifice Abdul in her operation. Semet then reported what just happened to her superiors, including information regarding a Pakistani submarine attack plan against an Indian aircraft carrier in the Bay of Bengal. The information was then forwarded to the Indian Navy, but again, the Navy did not really believe in this information. Hearing the news that Abdul was hit by a car, Mebu, Ippol's older brother, immediately went to the hospital. In front of Mebu, Abdul mentions Semet's name before he finally died. Membu was very devastated by Abdul's death, and since that incident, she also started to suspect Semet. He then intended to contact the investigation bureau to investigate Abdul's death. One day, Semet asked permission to go to the market to buy clothes to give alms while praying for Abdul. Ippol, of course, allowed the intention of his wife. When Semet arrived at the market, she immediately contacted her superiors to report the current conditions which were increasingly chaotic, including Mebu, who was starting to suspect her. Her superior said that Semet had to get rid of anyone who was trying to thwart her operations, including Mebub. After that call, Semet received a poison that was tucked in an umbrella. The person that consumed the poison would surely die and the poison wouldn't get traced because the symptoms would be like a normal heart attack. Meanwhile, Mebub headed to the investigation bureau to investigate Abdul's death, but Semet already anticipated it. She poisoned him on the stairs while covering her entire body so as not to get suspected. She injected the poison into Mebub's leg and he didn't realize that. It didn't take long. After Semet reported that she had succeeded in her mission to eliminate Mebub to the investigation bureau, Mebub fell and died. After returning from the investigation office, Semet immediately threw away all the evidence of Mebub's murder. She also put her communication device in Abdul's room so that Abdul would be suspected as the undercover spy. On the other hand, Major General Syed and Ippol were very devastated by Mebub's sudden death. Pakistani intelligence had found out about Indian spies operating in Pakistan. Therefore, they arrested agents who had been assisting Semet. Semet immediately reported this condition to Khalid. Upon hearing this information, Khalid ordered Bakshi to prepare a backup team to evacuate Semet from Pakistan. A few days later, the Pakistani Investigation Bureau came to Major General Syed's house to investigate the crime scene. From the investigation, the team found a wiretapper and a signal transmitter in Abdul's room. On the other hand, Semet regretted sacrificing Abdul and her mission. The next day, Semet and Ippol were visited by Ippol's former commander, but Ippol did not realize that it was Khalid Mur who was undercover and gave a code to Semet secretly to meet him at the place and time that was determined. The investigation of the Indian Investigation Bureau continued and they summoned Munira to be questioned as a witness. 
knowing that Semet then met Saraya, a chairman of the Army Wives Association to say that Abdul might have been an Indian informant considering that he was from India. After that, Saraya immediately called the investigation bureau so that Munira was immediately sent home. Knowing the various evidence that pointed to Abdul as a suspected Indian spy, Major General Syed's family was shocked because he did not suspect that his confidant had betrayed him. However, Iqbal found beads from Semet's anklet inside Abdul's room. At that very moment, Iqbal realized that Semet was an Indian spy. As soon as Semet came home, Iqbal intended to ask everything he thought about his wife, but Semet had realized that she was found out and as soon as Iqbal entered the room, she pointed her gun at him. While shedding tears, Semet said that she didn't want all that to happen. But for her, nothing was more important than her country. After that, Semet went to meet Khalid, while Iqbal reported the incident to his father. Major General Said was furious after a single woman managed to ruin his family and endanger his country. He then realized that although Hidayat was his best friend, after all, he was an Indian. He finally realized that his country was in danger because of his mistake. Semet met Khalid who was about to evacuate her, but it was unlucky that the place had been surrounded by Pakistani intelligence and Ipul who wanted to arrest Semet. Khalid saw this difficult situation and decided to order his men to throw a grenade into the crowd of people to avoid getting caught. Sadly, those people died including Ipul and Semet who were present there. Shortly after, turned out, Semet was still alive. Turned out before the evacuation. Semet switched positions with another female agent so she was saved from the explosion. Seeing Khalid who tried to kill her made her very angry, especially since the husband she loved had to die, but Khalid said that it was part of the risk of her job. After that, Semet was successfully evacuated to India, but on the way, she fainted and apparently she was pregnant with April's child. Semet intended to raise the child herself. The sacrifice made by her was not in vain because India succeeded in intercepting Pakistan's submarine attack plan against Indian aircraft carriers. Not only that, but India also managed to sink one of the Pakistani submarines so that Pakistan surrendered in India. A few years later, Semet's son also joined the Indian army.